Okay, here's the June Tokyo Treat, which unfortunately, somewhere along the way, got a really looks like someone with boots gave it a really strong kick. So we're hoping, hoping, hopefully, there's not too much damage inside. It was bad enough that they had taped this other side as well, so it obviously was bad enough that they thought they had to tape the side to keep it closed. Okay. A nice little festival going on here on the cover of the uh, magazine. Well, I guess they call theirs a magazine like Japan Great does, but that's what it is. Now it's been July in Japan. They love their fireworks. Take a look at the super duper box that I once again did not get this month. One lucky winner gets it every month. Lots of good stuff in it. One piece backpack. Okay. Just about the Tanabata Festival. Tokyo Tower. And as always, of course, they have pictures of users. But their box. One of the little doll here is cute. Anyway, let's go. Uh, we've got, oh, this is some kind of milk flavored, maybe, I don't know. Kokia potato chips. Kokia potato chips. Um, they are interesting. Uh, maybe I better read about these. This is under Dragon Ball Heroes. Comes with a little uh, pouch too, which is uh, probably got some kind of uh, you know flavor enhancer. I will read about them. Okay, so our big milky thing was Calpus gummy. Really? No, that's not Calpus gummy. Potato chips. Apparently, there's also a little Calpus gummy in here. This is milk flavored potato chips. Yes. Milk flavored potato chips. We bet you've never tasted anything like this. We're excited to bring you this newly released milk flavored chip by Koyakia. Not only do they smell and taste like dairy, they also have just as much calcium as one would expect in a glass of milk, making it a nutritious morning snack. Who knew you could have potato chips for breakfast? I've eaten a lot of things for breakfast, but I have not eaten potato chips for breakfast. Okay, I got some kind of weird recipe or something. I'll check out that little dude on the back. I don't know what he's supposed to be. He got a corn kind of looking hat though. Uh, let's see, Dragon Ball Heroes Snack Five. That's what this is called. Don't confuse it with Dragon Ball Snacks One Through Four. Uh, this is a rich and crispy snack that's just the right amount of flavor to make it irresistible. Delicious creamy and buttery cheese taste. Make it hard for you to put down. Every pack comes with an awesome Dragon Ball Heroes collectible card. Oh, so this is not a flavor enhancer. It's a collectible card. I have to say, I've never watched Dragon Balls. So, there's Dragon Ball. Uh, you know, I like more slice of life than so action stuff. So, cool. uh, Another little pouch on this one. It's kind of like uh, My Little Pony or something going on there. Kokotama snack. Are you familiar with Himitsu no Kokotama? I'm certainly not. It's currently a very popular animation program in Japan. Every local character needs to have a snack product of their own. Give these crisp, give these cute crispy milk and strawberry biscuits a try and see how you like them. So maybe this is a card on this as well. Oh, these are little biscuits. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, this is interesting. Apparently some kind of fries. But they seem to be made of shrimp, maybe. I had, I've had some shrimp fries. Not too good. 
uh, shrimp crackers. That's what this is. We think Japanese shrimp crackers make a fantastic alternative to your ordinary crisps, which is what some people call potato. Uh, classic snack with excellent savory taste and crunch. These yummy shrimp crackers are perfect to accompany you while you watch your favorite shows. Okay. Ooh, this is a bonus snack. Oh, these are good. I think I've had these. Uh, Pucha. Pucha. May not be in here because it's a bonus snack. And I'm not seeing it. Oh my god, there's some black thunder in here. Black thunder gold. I just happened to see it. Oh man, I told you, man. Black thunder. Black Thunder was the best chocolate cracker I've ever had in my life. And I'm, I don't know what the gold is. Let's see. Black Thunder Gold by Uratsu. Uratsu one of the most popular chocolate bars in Japan. Once you get a try, you'll easily see why. It's an exciting combination of Japanese style rice puffs and dark crispy cookie center surrounded by rich milk chocolate. This gold version combines the strong flavors of coconut and it works beautifully. Why would you ruin the best cracker on the planet with coconut? I don't like coconut. So I was going to say, man, I hope we got more than one of these, but now I don't really care. Because it's probably not going to be that good. Here we have a little toy looking kind of sucker thing. This is, what is this? This is Yokai Watch Chocolate. Comforting treat allows you to enjoy a subtle and tasty chocolate lollipop shaped like your favorite Yokai Watch character. Satisfy your sweet tooth and let this yummy chocolate slowly melt in your mouth. So it's like a chocolate lollipop. I have no problems with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, here's our Calpus gummies, I think. Don't worry, they're gummies. They, they don't get hurt. Uh, here they are. One of the Calpus, Calpus gummies. Once you open this pack, you're instantly able to smell of sweet milk. These soft gummy candies are flavored after the popular Calpus drink. With a pocket of yogurt flavor and syrup inside to give them even more flavor. It also comes in a resealable full package to keep things fresh. I've had some calculus before and I'm not a big fan of it. Um, now we have a, this is a familiar looking thing. Thomas and Friends chocolate pretzel sticks. This combination of crunchy pretzel sticks stretched in smooth creamy chocolate won't let you down. Okay, I don't know what Thomas is doing over in Japan. I guess they have their own Thomas. I don't really care. I'm not exactly a fan of Thomas. Uh, but it's chocolate pretzel sticks, which are always good. Oh boy, now we got some Pokemon showing up. Pokemon is in the house. Luckily, I'm not seeing any damage to my stuff, so that's good. Pokemon gummy. Now, as I always say when I get Japanese gummies, Japanese gummies are the best in the world, bar none. So, that's my opinion. Uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with this unique, taste changing gummy. Packed in a cute Pokemon y package, Pokemon package comes three delicious flavors pineapple, grape, and peach. Now, that, now we're talking. Let's stay away from this coconut crap. Uh, enjoy the flavors separately or the adventure or, or be adventurous and combine them and see what flavors you come up with Okay, that looks good Here was we got us a, a roll or something with uh, I've seen this dude before Don't remember who he is um, Ampen man, yeah, Ampen man ramen egg candy I'm sorry, I've got a little ball on the side, so I'm going to be turning my head periodically. The game's just started, so. Uh, do you love Ampen Mod as much as we do? I don't know, I've never seen it. Oh, even the little top has a little Ampen Man on it. 
Check out these tasty ramen candies featuring Uncle Man and his friends. They come in a variety of fruity flavors, including grape, peach, apples, and orange. Crunch right into them or let it dissolve in your mouth. Or drop it. Uh, oh boy. Looks like we had some peels this time. Weird. This is fortune telling chocolate peels. Fortune telling chocolate peels. Tagashi Kashi. Feeling a little under the weather? Take a dose of these delicious, colorful chocolate peels. Made from creamy milk chocolate, this yummy treat will make you feel a whole lot better. Don't forget to check your fortune once you pop out the candies. So I'm assuming it doesn't have a lot of detail on this. It's got little doohickeys on the bottom. It's written below each one, but so I'm assuming that must be the fortune. I don't know. I have to look into this one a little bit more. Uh, looks like we have some gum, I think, here. Oh. That stupid train again. <clears throat> Thomas and Friends chewing candy. Another Thomas and Friends treat from us to you. But this time it's a sweet fruity chewing gum. Delicious grape flavor bursts from these juicy candies. Each pack comes with a collectible Thomas and Friends wrapper. Oh boy. Uh, oh, interesting. Moki Moki Kinako. This is kit like. It's got some directions on the back. I don't know if this is technically a kit or not. Let's see. Soybean flour Moki rice cake DIY. So this is a DIY. Not a big fan of Moki. Uh, a famous New Year's tradition in Japan is eating warm, freshly pounded Moki under a thick dusting of roasted soybean flavor. We're bringing you something similar in the form of a simple DIY kit. Why we're doing it six months away from New Year's Eve or New Year's is uh, something they don't answer. Oh wow. Now this took the, the brunch. But this took the brunt of the kick I think. And luckily it's all gummy juicy. It's turning some kind of drink, I think. But luckily, it's really soft. That took the brunt of my postal service kick. Thank goodness. This is our drink this month, apparently. I've never gotten one of these where I didn't have a drink in a can, you know, or a little, little bottle. Uh, Marataki Peach Drink. Need a refreshing drink to enjoy during the summertime? We've got just the thing for you. Try this Marataki Peach Drink and you'll instantly feel refreshed by the sweet fruity aroma. So apparently you drink this for the aroma and not for the actual liquid. Uh, for extra enjoyment, you can throw them in the freezer or put them in the freezer for a future frosty treat. Okay, that's our drink. Okay, we got some Pocky. And I've never had Pocky quite like this. Chocolate Brazilian Orange Pocky. This is actually in the small crate, so, yeah. Uh, Summer Limited Edition, not surprisingly. Uh, we're, we're taking on a mini trip to Brazil with Pocky's newest exclusive edition for this summer season. As we all know, the Stupid Olympics was in Stupid Brazil. Um, with a special Brazilian flavor of tropical orange, this perfectly sweet and citrus coating will liven up any mouth. We hope you'll love this light, light and tasty treat. Well, we'll see. And we have one thing left. I would be excited about this, but I've already got it. Um, it's the toilet candy. Uh, this is Moco 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 Lip Moco Tet. Oakland Toilet DIY Candy 3. I saw somebody get this in something a while back, and I was like, hey, so awesome. Because you make your candy in the toilet bowl, in this toilet bowl, not in your real toilet bowl. That would be disgusting. Uh, and I was like, I got to get that. So I ordered one of these from J-List. 
Uh, so I haven't actually done anything with it yet, but I actually do have another. So now I have two of these. I have really no excuse not to do one. Uh, well, this is hilarious. DIY yeah, candy kit. You can assemble your own toilet and decorate it with super fun stickers. The candy comes in a sweet soda and cola flavor that you can turn into an interesting, foamy, sweet drink bubbling out of the toilet bowl. So, yeah, you eat it. It comes a little straw, I think. So, you assemble your toilet bowl, you add the ingredients, and then you drink. So, only in Japan. This scene. Okay, so we've got a little more information about the toilet bowl and the chocolate pills. Um, you know, the box, the candy's box reads, delicious fluffy foam overflowing from a cute miniature toilet. And once you're done, you can keep your little toilet. You know, you know, I can use it with some figures or something. Or as this suggests, you can use it as a plant pot, bento pick holder, storage container, or anything that comes to mind. Okay, so now here's this something, here's a little something going on about fortune teller chakra pills here. Um, I kind of watched this Tagashi Kashi anime, which is apparently all about food. Uh, Japanese candy to be exact. Once you pop out the chocolate peels, you'll be able to see symbols on the back of the candy. Okay. Those symbols have different meanings that will reveal your fortune. Certain aspects of this friend, love, marriage, and more. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Let's see what we want to try here. I think I'm going to start with these milk. Milk flavored potato chips. How can you not start with that? It smells like something, but it ain't milk. You know, actually, it is sort of milky. My nose doesn't really, I don't smell a lot of stuff, so I don't have a very good sense of smell. That does smell like milk. I think it's, it smells like, uh, it's not just milk, it's some kind of good thing. It kind of smells like sugary milk, like after you've eaten your cereal and you've got, if you like a lot of sugar in it, like I do, uh, you guys still got, you got like sugar filled milk left. That's what it smells like. That's a good smell. Looks, oh, not a good one. We're going to get a big one out. Looks just like a regular old tater chip. It does actually taste milky. That's crazy. So actually there's like no salt, which is great. I, love, I hate salt. These are really good. They actually do taste kind of milky. Milky for dark sure. I'll be finishing those off shortly. I'm going to tell you shrimp crackers next. So, not the best telling things I've ever smelled. They're like the really good little shrimp chips I've tried. Sorry about that. Frankly, not a whole lot of taste. I mean, a little fishy. But not bad. I wouldn't want to eat a whole lot of them at one time, that's for sure, but... Okay, let's go with this. The, uh, what is this? The, uh... Kukatama snack. It comes with a little bit of heat, so we'll just take this off. See it, we'll just take this off. Tell you what, they don't want to lose that thing. That thing was stuck on, man. Let's see what we get in here. It's probably a little card, I think. Okay. So, after all that, we get a little card with a little 
girl and the words. So yeah. Can't see what it says. So these are supposed to be crispy milk and strawberry biscuits. strawberry smell coming at you right there and there's a little apparently it's like a little heart pretty good yeah definitely good strawberry taste in that okay I'm not gonna do this because obviously that takes a lot to eat that thing but that looks really good chocolate uh, basically chocolate sucker Let's see if I can get to this ampa man thing he got a little bit of a kick. He got a little bit of a kick too. He's got a little dent in him right here. But let's see if we can open this thing. Okay, here we go. Doing the thumbnail around the thing. I think things to be the trick. Yes. Let's manage our top off. Looks like you could almost leave it on and just open it a little bit and sneak the things through that part, but we won't do that. Now these are ruminated flavors, I recall. I don't know, these are fruit flavors including grape, peach, apple, and orange. Okay, so I've got two here. I've got a little yellow one with the... Uh, just I guess some zoom in the Alpha Man face. You can't really see it because it's a little. This one is uh, apparently some other character. Just a basic hard chalky candy. Frankly, I didn't get a lot of taste out of those two. So. Let's see what's on the bottom here. I don't know what that means, but. Apparently some kind of character. Not that great, but not a lot of taste. And I'm finally back to try and finish this July Toku Treat. Uh, already tried some of the stuff. Hopefully I've already talked about Pokemon things. These are gone. These, these are pretty good. Some of the chip, the, the other snacky things are gone. Uh, did I mention this is the anime characters edition? Even though well, I don't really see a lot of anime characters personally. I mean, Thomas the Train does not count to me. But we do have some Thomas and Friends sticks here. Thomas and Friends chocolate pretzel sticks. Uh, pretzel, I haven't had pretzel sticks. So that would be interesting. They look just like, you know, fake uh, Pockies. But I'm sure they'd be pretty good at it. Get a little bag up here. You got chocolate. Chocolate on the stick. Get some, everything just tastes better on the stick. I don't know why. I've had different kinds of sticks before. Nothing beats Pocky. But we'll see where these stack up. They're good, but honestly, I, it's not a real strong chocolate taste. Surprisingly chocolate light. But good, but certainly not pocky. These fortune shell and little chocolate things. I'm just gonna. I got some of those in Japan crate that's for June too, so. Or July. So, we're just gonna, they were pretty good. We're just gonna skip them here. These Kalpas things were pretty good. Uh, got a couple of those left, apparently. Then we'll go on to the Pocky. Being a Pocky, this will be interesting. 
chocolate Brazilian orange. Definitely the most exotic Pocky flavor I've had. Uh, Brazilian orange Pocky summer limited edition. I guess because the Olympics they did the special Brazilian flavor tropical orange. They try. Right. I love Pocky. So easy to open. You get two of these things. Two of these. Limited edition Brazilian orange. As you can see, it's orange. I don't know if you can even tell by the stand on I me. Mean, there's just something about Pocky. Not quite as hard as the other sticks. I guess there's a certain oranginess to it. It's good. Pretty good. Nothing beat Pocky, man. <sighs> There's some more t train here. T Thomas the Train gum. I'm not going to do any gum right now, but let's see what it says. Thomas and Friends Chewing Candy. Sweet, pretty chewing gum. Delicious grape flavor burst from these juicy candies. Each pack comes with a collectible Thomas and Friends wrapper. Well, we just have to find that out later. This is interesting. This is Dragon Ball Z something. It's got a little pack, pack with it. A little flavor pack. Dragon Ball Heroes Snack 5. This is a rich and crispy snack that has just the right amount of flavor to make it irresistible. It has a delicious creamy and buttery cheese taste that will make it hard for you to put down. Not only that, every pack comes with an awesome Dragon Ball's Heroes collectible card. So obviously this is not a flavor pack, it's a collectible card. That was my mistake. Cardass.com Cardass I'm serious. But it's C-A-R D-D-A-S-S Hardass.com. Okay, I have no idea who this is, but uh, apparently he's got a very strong punch. He seems to be quite proud of it. And he's got a six on this. I don't know if that means he ranked six or what, but it's not one punch man. It looks kind of like one punch. Maybe it's like one punch is man. One punch man's angry cousin. I don't know. Just little, uh, these puff critters. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's got a wing to it, but it's pretty good. I'm not going to do the pooch right now. This was my bum snack. I had pooch before. They're really good. There's little, you know, little uh, shell things with the chocolate inside. Very good. I had to, I actually, I, I did eat, eat the Black Thunder Gold too. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. So uh, I love Black Thunder. It's the best little chocolate bar ever. Uh, and it was good. It was sort of, it's sort of like uh, sort of a darker chocolate, uh, the Black Thunder Gold. Combining the, it also includes coconut flavor, which I don't like coconut and I apparently didn't taste it because it was good. So I'm going to try this. We have been blessed with peach drinks from Japan in June and July. This is Marataki peach drink. For extra enjoyment you can throw them in the freezer for a future frosty treat. Well we won't do that. 
I don't like cold drinks anyway. I never had one that came like this. Ooh, look at that. It's all squishy. Okay, seriously, I don't even know if I know how to open this. Okay, I'm not gonna bite it off like the when I when I saw I'm gonna use scissors. This is not this is a drink that when you want it you better you better drink it when you want it because you, know, you can't put it down. It ain't gonna stay. So you're in for the long haul when you start this drink. Ooh. I cut it a little low. I got a little juicy pot. Ooh, I got some on my mouse. See when that happens. Got some on my finger. Oh, it's running down the thing. When you, when you hold it down here, it puts your stuff up, as you can see. And when it's full, that causes a mess. So I got a little bit of a mess here. But you can either drink it, drink it, suck it like you would normally with a straw, or or you can squeeze the thing and force it up into your mouth. Not a lot of peach flavor going on here. I mean, it's it's good, but it, it's it's like lightly, lightly peach flavored water. Yeah, I much prefer the. Standard bottles. Uh, definitely. At least it's not carbonated. That we would have had a mess. But yeah, it's just really watery. It's not a real peach flavor to me. Not near as good as the peach stuff I've had peach soda that I had in the last couple of boxes. But, yeah, sorry, I didn't do very good this month, but, uh, that's it, that's, uh, that was July. Oh, I'm still finding wet spots. Alright, I'm gonna clean up.